All right, so we got a bunker case running warm. Uh, we got two sides, we got that side also, all of that. So we got cases running warm. Um, all the products been pulled. Um, besides these juices, these don't go bad. But um, let's head up to the roof. Feels like we got airflow, so let's just head up to the roof. Let's check it out. All right, so we're up in our motor room. That compressor is running, but that head fan is not. That compressor's running. That one's running. This one's running. That one's running. So that's a good thing. That's our sight glass. All right, so we have zero percent. Our set point is ten. We're running at eleven. Everything's nice and tight. Our condenser. 220 we're running at 236 so that looks good let's just check over here we got two circuits in alarm frozen food those those two bunker cases that i just showed you down there so uh, we gotta figure out why these two cases are on alarm uh, let's just head over here right quick all right so our side glass is flashing this rack here looks to be low on refrigerant so what I'm gonna do is, I just wanna do a test and uh, confirm that, you know, if I close a couple of ball valves on my um, liquid header and send it, you know, clear the sight glass up so we can have more liquid to send to the case, I wanna see if my case draw down the temp. Let's just go ahead and um, find our liquid line. The small lines right here to the left is usually your liquid line for the circuit. That's just how I know, like, it's always to the left. So, yeah, these are my two circuits. We're going to leave these open. So, I just closed all of those. I might even close a couple more. I'm going to watch this sight glass. And we're going to wait till this thing clears up. When this sight glass clears up, we're going to see if our case come down to temp. All right, so as you can see, my sight glass cleared up. And uh, we're have a hundred percent liquid entering the THV downstairs to those cases and uh, let's just check our temperatures let's check our E2 so as you can see one of our cases already came out of alarm circuit 9 circuit 10 is still in alarm but let's see where we are we'll start with circuit 10 so, case two is at two degrees now. Oh, back out of there. So look, let's see, log it. So look, we went from 21 degrees down to two degrees. So look, 830, we was at 17 degrees. That's kind of around the time I got here. And look, by 9.30, we're at four degrees. And that's mainly due to me closing the liquid line ball valve. Uh, right now, I'm gonna open all these back up. And as I open these liquid line ball valves back up, uh, we're basically gonna start flashing again on the side. All right, so before I go, let's open up these ball valves. Let's open them up. So we gotta get all these ball valves back open all right so i just closed all i mean i just opened up all these ball valves uh like i say you want to make sure you open all these up all right so i'm back with my gas i got what four tanks 25 pounds a piece that's 100 pounds i got another 100 pounds in the truck if needed but um before i add this gas i need to go around and leak search all right so let's just find walk around see if we can pick up anything all right, so I'm on top of the walk-in coolers and I'm uh, checking up underneath the motor room. This is underneath the one of the racks. Rack three is a good ways down there on top of the, the coolers. But uh, this is an interesting find right here. Look at this, one little drip can um, equals to that amount of water. Let me just turn my light on right quick. Look at that. 
all that water <laughs> from that little one drip. All right, so I just leak searched the inside, searched the coolers, cases. Uh, I just wanted to walk up here, check out my condenser, look for signs of oil, uh, anything in that nature. Uh, could be leaking out here. Also, uh, check out piping. Sometimes these vibration clamps, the little rubber goes away and rust out and it rubs a hole. As you can see like this one, that needs to be replaced. This here needs to be replaced, so always check your piping also. So um, let me put my leak detector on peak. It's very sensitive. And just go through this whole rack, man. Try to check every square inch as you can. All right, so I think I found our leak. And look, I didn't even. Let's see if the leak detector fix that up. There it goes. The leak detector sees it. Um, didn't take me really much to find this. This is a GDR valve. Uh, defrost differential valve um, basically this valve just basically when we go through defrost uh, it helps build up enough pressure so we can uh, force the pressure back through here and up over and down through our suction line to the evaporator to the to defrost the coil alright so my leak is on this one here I'm going to just basically close these both of these valves these down now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and um, use two wrenches, one on one side to hold it to break it loose, and the other one to, to take it loose. Same thing here. Uh, if you just put one wrench on this and you just open it, you run the possibility of damaging this and snapping it off. But I have it off. But if you have it open and snap it, I have a whole bunch of a refrigerant loss. So uh, I'm gonna valve these off. Like I said, use two wrenches, take this off. I'm gonna replace this hose. All right, so I just took this one side off, and I just want you to know there's a little brass little fit in here, copper or whatever they wanna call it. And um, just wanna pre be prepared to catch this. You may need it if um, your new one don't come with it. Uh, it should come with one, but just in case, when you take this off, just make just be prepared for this to fall out. Keep your hands there as you're screwing it. Uh, let's just go ahead and um, take the next one out. All right, so I just got my super holes all connected. I'm gonna just go ahead and um, open this back up. Let's open this up. Let's open this up. How do I know which way to turn them? I kind of look at it like a soda top. You know, when you open the soda top, you go to the left, you no know, right. Tighten it, righty, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, same thing. Same way I adjust my TXV valves. Kind of look at it, look at it the same way. All right, so I got my pilot line all hooked up. Uh, I just kind of turned it on. It still was leaking a little bit. I wound up putting some Teflon on there. And uh, I just see how it's going now, man. So everything looks good, nice and tight. So even after you think you fixed the lick, you should always double check it. Use some bubbles, leak detector, whatever you want. But uh, just try to be as thorough as you can. And just double check it, man. Just never, it's not gonna hurt you. So, all right, I'm gonna give me some paper towels. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this up. And uh, I'm gonna check our cases out. I'm still adding gas. I added, uh, so far I added 150 pounds. I got another 50 pounds left. And, uh, we're still at zero. That's what 150 pounds added. Sight glass still flashing. So I'm probably gonna add those 50 pounds in, but we should be good on our case temp by now. All right, so. As you can see, all of our cases are out of alarm over here. There's nothing red. 
We had circuit nine and circuit 10. They both were an alarm. Eight. So one is at negative 10, one is at negative three. This case is set up for average. Uh, my EBR won't close until both cases come down the temp. This one's at eight and one's at seven. So that's pretty good. That's what we want to see. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and um, finish adding those 50 pounds. But one case in defrost and the heat reclaim on, we need to be at about 10%. So. All right, so I just put the gas in, just put the case back together. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. Um, so I actually put in 200 pounds total. I'm um, going to head back up to the roof. I want to see if my liquid level rose or came up a little bit. Uh, if not, we're going to have to come back and do a follow-up leak search anyway. But we need to get our levels up to, you know, to where they need to be. All right, so we're back up in our motor room. Let's just check our liquid level. So we're still at 0% after adding 200 pounds of gas. Um, yeah, I didn't find any other leaks. There could be more, but we're going to come back and do a follow-up leak search. Um, we got to normally come back within 24 hours, try to leak search, spend a couple hours to see if we can find any additional leaks. Um, let's check out our circuits again. Alright, so... Everything's pretty much at temp, uh, clear of alarm.